Impeachment hearings continue, but the questions remain, as always, will anything change? The minds of Democrats or Republicans, or what about outside of New York and California and places like that? Joining me right now is Ron Hart, national columnist and a keeper of the flame. Good to have you here as we uh, motor toward Thanksgiving. You and I have both been watching the impeachment hearings today. There have been a few punches landed on the president. Yeah, a few kidney punches today, perhaps, you know, but uh, the, the Democrats are kind of flailing a little bit in many ways. Uh, you know, who needs facts when you have conclusions? They'd be, I, well, I, that's the nature of American politics at this point. Exactly. Right? But I long for the days when Trump was a Russian spy, when he was cavorting with hookers in Russia, when he was uh, hanging out with porn stars in the United States. I mean, those, 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 those are good times, right? Not, not, uh, um, not the stuff of FDR. Now they got him in the process crime of <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe using diplomacy to get a, uh, a, a report on Joe Biden's nefarious activities. Because how can you question the integrity of the uh, uh, U Ukrainian industrialist Hunter Biden? He seems like a really good egg. Kind of a real Horatio Alger guy. Uh, happier news, the stock market is rocking and rolling. Dear 401k, <laughs> keep rolling so I'm not eating cat food in Florida in a decade. Exactly. Uh, right now, it's, it's great. You know, we've talked on the show in the past over the years when it's more financial than now. But you got to stay in the stock market. You never know what years is going to be good. This year, it's up 24%, up 50% since Trump got elected. Probably the biggest uh, modern-day president increase in the stock market. Look, they, the, the Democrats cannot beat Trump on the economy. They cannot beat on unemployment. they got to get him on some process crime, you know, perhaps Stormy Daniels, you know, whatever, drilling without a permit or something. Uh, they'll get him for something. And so they I'm sorry I'm laughing about that. I don't want to laugh at that. I'm not laughing. The EPA, you know there's a lot of deep state people at the EPA, so that's someone they can get him for that. So they're trying to get him on process crimes. Right now, if the election's tomorrow, Trump gets elected. He was sent there you to dis so? disrupt a lot. Yeah, he's not likable, but he's, he's doing what, look, people that disrupt Num things are not likable. seem to indicate that. Look at what happened in the gubernatorial race in, in uh, Louisiana, in Kentucky. They were close. Yeah, they were close and they lost. Yeah, I, you know, I think he wins tomorrow. Who knows? Ever since I've known you, you've always been a great proponent of investing in the stock market. I like stocks because when you have a company, you have a lot of wealth like Buffett, Gates, and all the wealthy people. You don't eat caviar. You don't have four steaks a day. You put your money back into companies. What do the companies do? Bernie Markets. They hire people at Home Depot. They create wealth. It's a multiplier effect. Wealth, wealth is a powerful multiplier effect that people don't understand. Bernie yeah. Markets, like, I don't know him personally, but I look at him and, and what you say is right. I mean, he does not live this sort of wild lifestyle or this very high materialism. He's sort the best. Of I played his member guest one time and he comes to a water hole at this club in Boca, Boca Raton. He pulls out a Ziploc freezer bag. He had old pinnacle golf balls. Oh, he man. pulled out for a water ball. Man worth billions. You gotta love it. Playing pinnacles. And that is your lesson, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. For those of you who don't play golf, Pinnacles, uh, hitting a pinnacle is like, like driving a vehicle that's got 225,000 miles on it. Bernie Marcus is <laughs> All right, Ron, thanks. Thank you. President Trump